And welcome into the Bob Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln, Nebraska for round one action of the NCAA tournament for the most fortunate of teams. <laughs> there are only six matches left in the season. Of course, last year, Nebraska was one of the too fortunate to play in six. They lost the finale to Wisconsin, and the road to get back to Omaha begins here tonight at the Devaney Sports Center against Delaware State. The Hornets come in at 24 and six. First swing is wide, and Nebraska on the board here in Lincoln. Welcome in everyone, along with Kathy Wieskamp, I'm Larry Putney. Good to have you with us for first round action from the NCAA tournament. Earlier tonight, the Kansas Jayhawks were winners over the Miami Hurricanes, so Kansas awaits the winner of this match for tomorrow night here at the Devaney Center. And from that left pin, the swing by Maldonado. And Maldonado gets the kill. Maldonado will get several opportunities to swing in this match. She leads this team, had 313 kills this season. Very physical, um, has an ability to have a huge presence in the match, so keep your eye on her. And of course, while Nebraska lost the finale last year to mm. Wisconsin, the road this year is so much more treacherous and not because <laughs> of the opponents. Nebraska certainly had to go into Austin, Texas last year, knock off the Longhorns to make it to the Final Four. The road is more difficult this year as you see Maldonado with another kill because of what Nebraska has on the bench <laughs> and the injuries and the uncertainties, et cetera. Here tonight, of course, Kinsey Knuckles is still out. Also tonight, Nicklin Hames still sitting on the bench for Nebraska. And just Nebraska's gone through a lot of lineup changes throughout the season and stuff, but these kind of have come at a very crucial time in the season. And um, the good thing is they've had multiple lineups and they're focusing on one at a time and everybody doing the job that they've been given. Dig by Orr and the overpass. Bump set, free ball, Nebraska. Or out to the pin. Batenhorst off the top of the block. Good job defensively by Nebraska. Again, Batenhorst with the tip. But again, Delaware State is there. Behind to Krause who goes wide. And Lindsey Krause with her first swing and kill of the night. Just nice job by Nebraska to really work pin to pin, utilizing a lot of attackers in that in that um, rally. And both these two, both these teams, very good defensive teams. Actually, Nebraska is um, lead is number one in holding opponents' hitting percentage to 129, and number two in the country, right here, Delaware State. So two of the best in the country defensively. Delaware State and Nebraska. Only two opponents all year long, Kathy, have hit better than 220 against this Delaware State team. Pretty impressive. Serve is wide there. Delaware State, the Hornets were the MEAC Conference champs in 2022. They are on a nine match winning streak coming into this. And of course, Nebraska on a two match losing streak. The Huskers have lost three of their last five. This is the first time Delaware State has been to the tournament. Wow. Um, huge accomplishment for them and their program. Pretty exciting and pretty emotional for them. And they're um, just thrilled to be here and be in an environment they said that is going to be better than any um, that they could imagine. Great up. Rodriguez again keeps it alive. Batenhorst swing is wide, no touch point for the Hornets and already here early, we've seen two long rallies and you're getting a mm -hmm. sense of why these two teams defensively are so dynamic. Both teams right now with eight points on the board hitting zero. <laughs> Passes off, Alec will set. Oh, Batenhorst <laughs> got a hold of that one. And out of system, you know, Alec did a nice job putting that up in front of Batenhorst. Batenhorst comes in being aggressive and really drives through the ball. And because it's inside, cuts it right underneath that block. 
Lonnie Evans now in. She will set out of the back row with Nicklin Hames on the bench tonight. The two setters in the 6-2 will be Ani Evans as well as Kennedy Orr. To the pin, good up in the back row by Kubik. Evans to Batenhorst again. Oh, Batenhorst has stepped up here late in the season and had some nice matches. Gets another kill. She has two. And she's had to come in with the, uh, with the change in with Kinsey Knuckles in and out. She's come in. Mm -hmm. She's been playing six rotations. A lot of, um, ex, I guess, a lot on her shoulders yeah. there. And she's really done a great job handling that. And again, mentally focusing and, and playing all those rotations adds an extra load to her, not only physically, but mentally. Great up by Rodriguez again. First team all Big Ten. And continues to just dig. She's such a, a great, uh, you know, defensive player, but also passer. Right, good swing right down the line. And there is Valeria Otero with the kill. Otero averages just over two kills per set. Great swing there by Otero. The line, line was given to her, and she takes advantage of that. And she goes outside of Mendelssohn. So now back to serve is Valeria Otero. Otero is a junior out of Puerto Rico. Five Puerto Ricans on this squad for Delaware State. Nebraska into the net. And save Delaware State on that one. The hit would have been mm -hmm. well long. 6-6 six, six here early on. Batenhorst again off the top of the block. And Allie Batenhorst now with three kills. So Batenhorst rotates into the back row. That'll put Cubic up front, along with Maggie Mendelson, who looks like she's playing right side right here. Becca Alec at the middle. Typically, you would see Whitney Lonstein in that role, subbing in right now, but. Mendelssohn, the freshman with the block right there. Mm -hmm. That's why they have her over on that right side. She poses such a huge block, really challenging the outside across the net. Tough serve by Batenhorst. Out of the back row. Swing is not down from Otero. Just long on the swing, no touch point for the Hornets. And a little different, um, Delaware State's block is smaller. Yeah. Um, and so hitters, where they're normally trying to find hands and use hands, hit that high hands, it's a little different location. It's a lot lower here. So we're seeing some balls go a little bit long. That may be part of the reason why. Look at the two rosters, Kathy. You mentioned the block is shorter. There's Shorter all the way around. Delaware State, as that kill by Alec goes off the block. Delaware State's tallest player mm. is 6-1. Yep. No player taller than 6-1. <laughs> Nebraska has eight players taller than 6-1. A little difference there for both teams to adjust as, yeah. as they're seeing something they're probably not used to. So Alec now to serve. The block and a kill by Cordero, Karen Cordero, who hits, hits 232 on the year. The first team all junior college All American out of Western Nebraska Community College. She led the junior college players with a 568 kills in 2021, so very effective. And she's been a great add to this program. End of the block, good coverage. Back row swing off the tape by Otero, not down. Sharp angle, great dig by Otero. And did not clear the tape. Free point for Nebraska on the hitting error by the Hornets. Four. 
tried line, but a little wide on the swing from Maldonado. Maldonado on the year for an outside, Kathy, hits 349. Yeah. First team all conference. She she is diff t just difficult to stop on the outside, and she's been really their kind of bread and butter. They do have um, some effective middles, but she has really been the one who's been consistent for them. And look at that high hitting percentage, as you mentioned. Key, especially out of system. Maldonado with the kill, 11-9. She had 14 matches this season where she had 10 plus kills. So you can see her numbers really um, speak for themselves. Tip by Krause, not down. Bump set outside, but there <laughs> is Caitlin Horde. I was gonna say, Caitlin Horde right there to stop that, takes that hard cross court swing. And she does such a great job. Look at that penetration and reach over the net. Overpass, and Horde puts it down. Just can't do that. Horde up there is going to take that and send it back at you aggressively. Tell you what, impressive. Start here for Nebraska. 13-9, good run here. Tough and serve. And the ace. Kubik putting that pressure on Otero, trying to make her play that ball, make it difficult for her to get back in the offense and swing, or at least slow her down a bit. Oh, with the block, Krause is there, shut down. Otero. Great setup by Krause. Takes that hard angle, pushes in. It is a 4 0 run for Nebraska heading into the first time out. Huskers on top of the Hornets, 15 9 here in Lincoln. Back at the Bob Devaney Sports Center, round one of the NCAA tournament, Nebraska and Delaware State. Huskers on a 4-0 run on top now, 15-9. Maddie Kubik on the serve. Dig again. Wow, some of those, the yeah. way she slides, surprised she doesn't have strawberries <laughs> all over. She's just so smooth and just the key is she's relaxed. Great position and relaxed. A lot of scramble in here. Double called on Nebraska point for the Hornets. Again, a double. 
Couple of doubles on Nebraska give the Hornets two points. So serving here is Yasmol Cruz. Cruz, career record holder for digs and digs per set for the Hornets. Talk about efficiency there too. She's had 15 or more digs 16 times this season. So pretty consistent. <laughs> Oh, in the block, Batenhorst <laughs> with the solo. Just great setup, takes it full on. Again, Maldona does a great job swinging, and if you stop, if you go up there and are solid, you're going to have to be solid. You can stop her. Into the block. Right back to Otero again, and off the touch, a point. Nice job there by Otero to keep working, and again, making adjustments in her swing based on the block. So back into serve now is Elena Lacey. Elena and Anderson, the two setters. So when Anderson rotates in front, in comes Lacey. Batenhorst, just long, no touch. Or behind her, off the block of Otero and out in Krause with another kill, and early on, Krause with two kills on four swings. Krause's done a great job here, particularly late in the season. You, we've talked about her, she's had to move around and play multiple positions, um, but lately she's really come in and been a spark and, and done some really great things at key times. On the slide. Roddy with the up, back to Batenhorst. Great adjustment there by Batenhorst, mixing things up. She's been swinging, missing some hands, trying to go long. Great control of the ball into that donut area. Little tip in the middle. Alex sends it right back over. Over the defense, back line, and Alec with the kill. I just love Alec being aggressive and assertive up there. She doesn't hesitate, doesn't overthink things, just makes strong plays. Delaware State will take the timeout. Nebraska on top here, 19-13 in round number one of the NCAA tournament. We'll take a break as well. Huskers on top. Back here at the Demandy Center, along with Kathy Wieskamp, I'm Larry Putney. Great to have you with us for first round action of the NCAA tournament. 1913 
Nebraska on top. That goes off the hands of Batenhorst. Mendelssohn has come in and provided a bit of a spark. A couple of swings for Maggie Mendelssohn. Put that one away. Nice job here swinging, cutting that cross court, swinging at the setter. She's really working hard, getting that good contact point. And she's made some really nice blocks up there as well. So as you said, mentioned, nice stretch for her here. Out of the back row, not down to the swing. Good job defensively, good reaction by Nebraska to keep it alive. Second touch. Great dump. Yeah. Great decision to send it over. Nebraska scrambling a little bit, so just send it back to them quick before they can get organized, and it's profitable. On the slide, right on the back line. What a shot again by the all-freshman team performer of the Big Ten Conference. Becca Alec. She's been working really hard trying to be, again, diversify herself and cre increase her range. Here she comes around on that slide. Great line shot in that deep corner. Just inside the line of the kill, 21-15. Taking that ball back, catches the inside hand of Alec. Just a nice swing there by Lewis. Barrier with the serve, and it is long. So now Nebraska three away from set number one. Checking in the serve for Nebraska, number seven, Casey Bozinger. And to serve for Nebraska, Maisie Bozinger, a freshman out of Norris High School. It is quiet here at Devaney. Mm -hmm. Good tough serve, just what they needed. Free ball, Evans behind to Mendelson. Nice dig in the back row by Cruz. And a double called on the Hornets. So set point for Nebraska here in the first, and a timeout taken by Dr. Bruce Atkinson. 24-15, here's another look nice at the move, ace yeah. by Bosinger. A lot of nice movement on that ball. You can see it was moving and floating to the outer edge of the court. Tough ball to handle. Got to really get outside or it's going to do just what it did, spray into the crowd. Nebraska hitting 250 here in set one. Just 0-5-0 for Delaware State. As we said earlier, these two are the better defensive teams in the country. In fact, they are one and two. Nebraska allowing teams to hit just 129. Delaware State holding opponents to a 132 hitting percentage. Nebraska's block really a factor so far. Five blocks for Nebraska, yeah. none for the Hornets. Kansas awaits the winner. The Jayhawks looked impressive in sweeping Miami. They looked really good. They came in, played very sharp, very clean, um, served really tough, and I think that was the key to it. And then that fed into them doing well and being effective with their block, etc. But uh, a really nice first match. And um, like you said, awaiting to see what's in store for them next. They played well in the tournament. Yeah. Um, the last couple years really have kind of made their mark here and um, have played their best. So it is set point here in Lincoln.
Set behind, the block is there, and on the sixth block of set number one, Nebraska takes the first, 25-15. After a bit of a slow start, the Huskers dominate the rest of the way, and they end on a 4-0 scoring run to take set one, 25-15. Huskers lead it here in Lincoln, one set to none. Back here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center, along with Kathy Wieskamp, I'm Larry Putney. You know, it's been since Kathy DeBoer was playing volleyball at Nebraska that this team, Delaware State, has won a MEAC Conference Tournament. It was 1986, Kathy. That would, that would have, have been, been your my junior, junior year. year. That's right. Yep, yep. <laughs> and that was a great year, by the way, as the Huskers went to the Final Four and were in that championship match. That's right. They won the MEAC Conference this year for the first time in nearly 40 years, 1986. First ever trip to the NCAA Tournament for the Delaware State Hornets out of Dover, Delaware. Come in with a nine match winning streak. Really have to like what Dr. Bruce Atkinson has done with this Hornets squad. He's only been there, this is his fourth season. They've had their two best seasons ever in the history of the program in back-to-back -back years under his tutelage. He's done a phenomenal job. Wow. There. <laughs> Talk about phenomenal job. Kubik with the kill. Senior captain Matty Kubik starts set number two off with a bang. Tough serve there by Kubik, but a nice pass off the top of the block, kept alive. Free ball over. 
One handed up, boy. <laughs> just her tracking and their, her just reaction is incredible. Yeah, she's playing as well as I've seen her play this year yep. right now. I mean, everything is up. And thanks to two great digs by first team Big Ten libero, Nebraska gets the point. Just, she's just so consistent. Her platform, her court awareness, her quickness, reaction. Can't say enough about the play of Lexi Rodriguez. Kylie Murr was named Libero mm. of the Year in the Big Ten Conference this year. Hard to argue with that. Murr had a yeah. phenomenal season, all-time digs leader at Ohio State in her, I believe it's super senior year for Murr. Rodriguez just a sophomore. And was Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year last year. As that freshman, a freshman which yeah. is incredible Ooh. honor and accomplishment. Great, Great up, up there by Orr. Orr. Wow. Boy, Nebraska's spot on tonight defensively. Very calm, doing a great job, staying disciplined and in position, and that's something you, you really need to do, especially a team you haven't seen, mm -hmm. kind of a different type of team. Um, it's been really focused and pretty sharp. Krause back line, what a shot by, took a little bit off it, yep. some top spin and got it to drop. Just Krause again, doing great things here, deep corner. Cross, as you mentioned, just a little tempo change, but the key was that wrist snap and, and keeping that hand high and controlling it in that deep corner. Will not get over. So point for the Hornets. That's their first after a 5-0 run here to open set number two. You know, and, and back to Rodriguez, I mean, the Hornets have got to be frustrated, like everything she yeah. touches. I mean, yeah. she's getting her hands on everything over there. But they seem to be staying very patient here and keep working at it. Baton horse with the swipe. Did it hit the block? It did not. Yeah, it goes right. wide. And again, some of that is the height of those hands, finding those hands on that swipe. Dayton Horse tips it, sends it right back. Off the block, not down. Back row, Cubic. Good up by Otero. Maldonado goes line, but Rodriguez is right there. Roddy again and again! Oh, what a point <laughs> won by the Hornets, wow! Huge win there for the, Warren, the Hornets to get that one. A lot of energy, those are always fun. Those long rallies, but just what incredible defense and just reaction on both sides. Some crazy stuff there by Roddy. Great dig fell to the floor. The second one comes over in from the floor. She keeps it alive, and that one right in front of her for the ace. And all of a sudden, after a 5-0 Nebraska run, the Hornets have answered on a 4-0 run of their own. That ace by Cordero is her 53rd this season. She is tough at that service line. Tipped over by Batenhorst. Batenhorst just really doing some nice things as far as placing the ball in, in different locations, making the defense make decisions and communication. Maldonado into the block. Becca Alec with the solo. Seven blocks for Nebraska. Maldonado really uh, came in and aggressive and trying to take that hard iron. She likes to that wrist down, um, and a block was there and right in front of her. On the slide into the net. Yep. Net violation on Nebraska. Point for the Hornets. 
Kathy, you take a look at the swings in this match for Nebraska. Allie Batenhorst with 22 yep. <laughs> of 44 total. Yep. Allie Batenhorst has as many swings as the rest of the team combined. A lot of balls been going to the outside and pushing it to her, or she's been taking them out of system. There's Batenhorst again, and that time it is Delaware State, DSU into the net. It's going to be an interesting second round battle should Nebraska hold on to win this against Delaware State. Nebraska, Kansas here in Lincoln. It's a Kansas squad, a Rebichard who are used to playing Nebraska. They mm -hmm. played in the spring out in Grand Island. Kansas took a set off of Nebraska and, at and, the Grand Island Event Center. And looked really, really sharp tonight. And yeah. so Served really well. Yes, I think that's the key. Um, and with the Nebraska with some different lineups, they've been having to change their serve receive patterns, who's in and, mm -hmm. and how they line up with that. So if they can put some pressure on and keep um, keep that go that tough serving going, it, it really will be, I think, a fun match. Maldonado That's, off the block gets the kill. Maldonado's fifth kill. Her hitting percentage is in the negatives um, as she's been trying to work around this big block and Nebraska's keyed in on her. As we talked about, she's kind of their leading attacker, um, averages um, about three kills per set and hitting about a 350. So her number's definitely lower tonight as she's in the negatives. Double call that time on Evans. So Evans picks up the double, that's the Third double call in Nebraska's setters tonight. Pulling the setters off the net here and trying to set that back over. Just not getting good hands up quick enough or good clean contact. Key is a good pass here for Nebraska. Yeah, they don't get it. Instead, it's the ace. And that's going to have John Cook pop off a chair and take a timeout. So good run here by Delaware State. DSU back in it here in the second set. 9-8 Nebraska Husters take a timeout. We will too. We'll be back here in a minute. NCAA Tournament round number one here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center. Glad to have you with us from here in Lincoln, Delaware State, with its first ever trip to the NCAA Tournament, representing themselves very well here in set number two on a 3-0 run. Trail 9-8 after Nebraska had opened up a 5-0 lead here in the second set. Evans back to Alec on the slide. Off the top of the block, kept alive. Otero into the block, and... Another block for Nebraska, that is Mendelssohn and Alec side by side. Great job there, Alec coming around on that slide behind. She stays on that right side, leaves Mendelssohn in the middle hoop. Mendelssohn has played middle for Nebraska also, so really puts him in an opportunity to mix up some different schemes up front. Here is Kubik, and Kubik into the block and out. <laughs> and Maddie Kubik picks up her second kill of the match. 
Big swing there, power by Kubik. Lewis there, hands there, but again, not in a position to be able to force that ball down into the court. Nebraska here in this second set hitting 333. Delaware State negative 111, and there is another block, and that time it is Kubik, and the blocks are racking up on Nebraska's side. I believe that would be number nine for Nebraska and just really challenging and pressuring um, the offense. Right now, uh, in this current set, Delaware State is hitting negative 158. Batenhorst <laughs> picks up the ace. I believe that's her first of the season. She's just taken on this new role of six rotations, so I believe that is um, two, number two for the second season. Second ace of the yep. season. So another timeout here on the floor, 13-8 Nebraska. If we think back again, Kathy, to the, the possibility of Nebraska and Kansas in round number two, there are a couple of bad omens going against <laughs> Nebraska in that matchup. If you think, when was the last time Nebraska lost at home in the second round of the NCAA tournament? It was against a team from Kansas. Kansas State, and you and I were there. We and were there. Nebraska, I believe, was maybe number two at that point. Yeah. And um, that second round, K-State came in and played a phenomenal match and um, knocked off the Huskers. Susie Fritz, the coach of Kansas State, getting that win, who was just let go by Kansas State here this week. And then the second, if you're looking just at omens, things to you know be aware of, right? The other is that Last year, mm -hmm. Kansas went on the road in the second round against the home team from Nebraska, knocked off that team and moved on to the Sweet 16. That was against Creighton. Creighton, so came to Lincoln, knocked off Oregon first, yep, right. and then rolled into the, the second round of Creighton. And um, just a, a great performance. And we said that they played really well um, in their postseason. And Ray Burchard has them prepped and ready. Yeah. And it's one game at a time, um, one point at a time. And everyone, you know, it's a new season. Yeah, if they serve the way they did earlier tonight, it'll be it'll be a good one tomorrow night. Nebraska's serve receive is going to have to hold up in that one. So Batenhorst off the ace. And Nebraska now on a 4-0 run of its own. And a second ace by Baton Horse. That is her third of the season. See how I did math there? That was good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> math major. <laughs> you know, Baton Horse, as we talked, moved into the six rotation um, position, and it's she's really done a, a terrific job with that. Back row, Baton Horse got the kill. That is the 24th swing, eight kills now for Allie Batenhorst, and they are finding her all over the floor. She's taken on quite a load here um, physically. You know, she stepped in and doing a lot of things in this match. On the slide back across, Evans with the one-handed up, keep it alive. Again, Rodriguez with the up. <laughs> Rodriguez is saving balls like nobody's business out there. She is just getting under balls. She's popping them up. She's just in the right positions, knowing where she needs to be. And her teammates then are finishing it off. Their great big swing there by Maddie Kubik. It is a hot Roddy tonight. There is no <laughs> doubt she is digging everything. 16-8, Nebraska on a 7-0 run. And finally slowed in the kill in the middle by Danielle Allen. Allen had a triple block up there in front of her, so nice job for her to find a way to utilize those hands for the advantage. Mm, tough yep. service there. It's never good, but a tough one there after you fought off and stopped a run. Want to get something going. Bosinger back in now for Nebraska to serve. Oh, 
Run the middle, not down. And the swing by Lewis. Out of the back row, Otero. Here is Mendelssohn. And Maggie Mendelssohn with the kill. That is her second of the match. She's second kill out of three swings, doing a tremendous job there on that right side. Tough serve. Quick pace, I like the pace out to Cordero, just did not keep it between the lines. And it is now a 9-1 run, 3-0 for the Huskers. Tip is down. And oh, did not clear the net though, nope. fell on yep. the Hornets side. And another timeout will be taken by Bruce Atkinson. So Nebraska has extended the lead big here in set number two. They are on a 10 to one run. Nebraska leads it 20 to nine here in set number two. We'll be back in Lincoln in just a moment. Maisie Bozinger still serving for Nebraska. Huskers in the middle of that 10-1 run. Bump set. Great and up. Mendelssohn thought it was yep. down, but great dig. And a point for Delaware State. And <laughs> and John John's Cook. got the, yeah. John Here's the crowd yelling about they thought that kill from <laughs> Mendelssohn was down, and John doesn't get off the chair. He just holds up the card. Here it is. Here you go. This is what I want. <laughs> it was a great big swing there by Mendelssohn, cutting it across. Like I said, most people in this facility yeah, <laughs> thought, thought it was thought down. Thought it was down, yeah. Mike Hamilton is our R1. He's in the chair. Wade Brintz, our R2. He's in the monitor looking right now. Ken Corum, Lisa Kresha are our line judges for round number one of these NCAA championships. A lot of chalk going on right now in the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. Georgia Tech, the number five seed in the Texas region was a winner 3-0. And they reversed the call. It was down and a point for Nebraska. Macy Bosinger is doing a great job here. They're bringing her in as a serving specialist and she's been mixing up some nice floaters. That last serve was a short serve to try and kind of cause some congestion up front, but exactly what they need her to do. Overpass, Kubik 
Wow, Nebraska just running away here in this second set. Now on top, 22 to nine. That short serve again, giving them some fits. See if they go back to it. 12-1, Nebraska run, and they have six in a row. Ford doing a great job getting back in the middle. Back out to the pin, dig by Evans. There is Kubik. Takes a little off it, tools the block, gets a kill. 23 to nine. Four kills for Kubik. Um, Nebraska really balanced. Baton Horse with most you know, kills. She's got eight, but Kubik with four. Alec, Krause, Mendelssohn all with three. So real balanced offense. Evans quick to Horde, got it. Hey, there's Caitlin Horde. She's in the game <laughs> and on the board. Second team all Big Ten performer, Caitlin Horde. After three consecutive years of being first team. Set point here in the second, 24-9. On the slide. Kubik is there to shut it down, and Nebraska rolls in set number two. 25-9 is the score. Huskers on top, two sets to none here in Lincoln. In that set, the Huskers hit 522 to negative 156 for Delaware State. 2-0 Nebraska lead. We'll be back here at the Devaney Sports Center.
And welcome back to the Bob Devaney Sports Center. Kathy Wieskamp, Larry Putney bringing you all the action from round one here of the NCAA tournament. End of that last set, impressive. Kathy, it was 9-8 Nebraska. John Cook calls a timeout. Nebraska goes on a 16-1 run to end set number two. Bottle that speech up and hold it. <laughs> Just incredible and a lot of a Nebraska server. Ah, you know, right. and Maisie Bozinger came in, did exactly what they need a serving specialist to do, come in and really challenge the serve, receive, and that all set up in Nebraska's offense as well to be productive, hitting a, an incredible, incredible 545 last set. And uh, with that tough serving and defense, as you mentioned, holding the Hornets to a negative 156. That's the story of Remarkable. set number two. Yep. So Ani Evans will start it off for Nebraska. Nebraska hosting in this first round of the NCAA tournament for the 37th time. They have been in 41 NCAA tournaments. That is an NCAA record. They've never missed an NCAA appearance. It was two teams that had never missed until the COVID year hit, and Stanford mm -hmm. did not make the tournament during the COVID yeah. year. And you feel bad for Kevin Hambly and that Stanford team because the regulations going on in California at the time, they didn't even know if they were going to be able to have Play. a season. Yeah. They couldn't practice. They didn't get on the floor until I believe it was 10 days before their first match was the first time they practiced. That team was kind of out of sorts all year, ended up not making the tournament, and that's what ended the Stanford Cardinal streak. Yeah. Just a tough situation for them, and yeah. just too bad, you know, that that's what it looked like. But Nebraska continues and um, working to continue to push that even further and push the envelope on that number. Wow. Down the line goes Krause, <laughs> and Krause gets the kill. Whitney Lonstein also back into the game now as well. Yep, just a little different lineup here yep. we're seeing. But just what an incredible shot there by Krause down the line, just buries the ball. The block by Cubic rolls along with tape and falls on the Hornets side. Block number 12 for the Huskers. The blocking number statistics are 12 to zero right wow. now. It goes back to the, you know, we mentioned earlier mm -hmm. off the top in set number one, 
the size difference between these two teams as Krause had an opportunity from the service line and put it into the tape. The size difference between these two, the Hornets do not have a player taller yeah. than 6'1". Nebraska, you look at their roster, eight. Yes. Eight players taller than 6'1". It's manifesting itself in 12-0 in blocks. Absolutely. And Here's that, Lonstein again. That could, you know, that block can be so frustrating um, for an attacker, and you, then you try to make adjustments, and then you may, tend to make errors, and so there's a lot that goes into that too. Great bump set right there, right to the pin, and gave Cubic plenty of time to fire away out of system. Cubic six kills. She's hitting over 400 here. She's had six kills, 11 swings, one air, hitting 455. So just great numbers for her tonight. Krause hitting 500. She's four kills on eight swings, no airs. So we're seeing some really clean performances. And another block by Lonstein. Just great. The key there was she's reaching across. And when they do their block training, it's about reaching across. Good hands there. Good execution. Ran right the middle, not down. Good hustle by the libero Cruz, but they couldn't get it back over. And it is a 6-2 lead for Nebraska. It's a nice job from the service line here by Bosinger. 3-0 mm -hmm. Husker run. Coming in, doing again. She's got, yeah, she's got oh, that great short tough. serve. <laughs> and a good follow-up dig. Free ball it over. Bosinger steps into set. Lonstein. Good angle, but a nice up. And another free ball. Good hustle by Krause to mm -hmm. get there. Good placement of that free ball. Again, Bosinger dives in. Now it's the Hornets with the free ball. Love seeing Run the middle. Tipped wide. Point Nebraska. And Maisie Bosinger getting lots of hugs and, and Celebration from her teammates on some great defensive plays. Great saves there by Bosinger twice. Yep, not only is she doing a good job of service, but she's doing the second part of her job is playing great defense. Mm -hmm. Short serve again, pushed out to the left. <laughs> and the block is there again. Lonstein with Nebraska's 14th block. Cordero uh, is in trouble there. Lonstein yeah. going up big and strong. It is a 4-0 Nebraska run. Huskers lead it 8-2 here in the third.
Welcome back to the Bob Devaney Sports Center. Nebraska in the middle of a 5-0 run, leading at 8-2. A good push to the outside of that right pin, and Maldonado gets the kill. Maldonado with six kills, hitting, boy, negative 136. One, two, three, five players for Delaware are hitting in the negative. In the current set, they're negative 357. Yeah, I was, that's what I was looking at. Oh, my. <laughs> With that, they were negative over 400 prior to that swing. Just wow. tough. Maldonado, negative 136. Allen, negative 143. Otero, negative 105. Cordero, negative 136. But Nebraska, 13 blocks. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, and just start combining all those things and makes sense. Big swing out of the back row by Lindsey Krause. It'll be interesting to see next year. You know, has Krause become a six row player? Lonstein certainly. Passes well, Batenhorst is doing it right now. Has stepped into that role. Just long. Kennedy Orr now serving. But a tough go for Kennedy Orr after the major knee surgery she had and thought it was fixed and had to have another minor surgery. It's just been a long road back for Nebraska's sophomore setter. Serve is wide. And the shank pass, the ace for Delaware State. Cordero back serving. The first team junior college All-American from last year played at Western Nebraska Community College. Better pass there. Ooh, right off the top of the block. That was a swing there by Krause. Or by it's Cubic. <laughs> And that time into the block, Mendelssohn got a hand on it. Mendelssohn doing a, a tremendous job up at the block. She's, she, I mean, she's big up there. She's strong. We've talked about her being a middle blocker, so she's got good technique up there, just making that adjustments and doing it on the right side. Again, we're seeing a different lineup here in this third set. You've got um, Krause playing that six rotations around versus Baton Horse. You've got Mendelssohn then playing that right side. So. Just getting a look, Nebraska's had to make a lot of adjustments in their lineup this season, and um, just kind of preparing and making everybody ready to be, be to do whatever they need to do for this team. Tough serve. Mm -hmm. Love it, love it, wow. love it. <laughs> Upset out to Krause. And Krause didn't hesitate at all. She came driving in after that ball like she was in system. Great, great swing. How impressive has Krause been here in this back half of the Big Ten Conference season and so far tonight? Just, just consistent and solid, and, yeah. and I think that's the key. Good save by Orr there. It was off the side of the block. Mendelson will get a swing, and then... One hands it up, another opportunity for Mendelssohn and got it down. Give me another shot at it, she says, and I'll finish it. Nebraska really feeling comfortable out there right now, obviously, um, but enjoying 
playing together and working with the, uh, each other in these different lineups and systems. Otero with the swing up by Kubik. There is Krause again. Out of the back row, not down to the swing by Cordero. Great. And good angle, just a little, took a little off it. Yep, just great adjustment, tempo change there. Great control of the ball, placing it into that open area. And the numbers and the disparity just yep. continue to grow between the two. Nebraska, 338 in the match. Delaware State, negative 134. I'm going to talk about Krause, seven kills on 12 swings, hitting 583 tonight. Wow. There she is again. Those numbers just continue <laughs> to grow. Krause, eight kills now. Just going up confidently and swinging aggressively. So setter out of Istanbul, Turkey, Naz Tunchi is checked in for Delaware State. Bump set outside and hitting air and miscommunication there. Misconnection. Yep. And a timeout taken by Delaware State, Nebraska in the middle of a 6-0 scoring run. They lead it in control here in set number three, 18 to five. We are back here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln. Round number one of this NCAA tournament. Delaware State, the opponent for Nebraska here on the Huskers' home floor. Nebraska right now holding Delaware State to negative 141 hitting percentage in the match. The lowest hitting percentage Nebraska has ever held an opponent to was back in 2013, Louisiana Monroe. 130, negative 132. So this at this point would eclipse Could, yeah. the lowest ever opponent hitting percentage for Nebraska. Let's pay attention to that till the end of the match here, see where we end up. That'll help it a bit. Yep. Good swing and a kill by Danielle Allen. And a much needed positive for the Hornets. Krause, first hitting error for Lindsay on the night. She leads Nebraska with 19 kills. I'm sorry, nine kills on 14 swings. And they're challenging the touch on that. Krause immediately turned and said, yes, coach. So maybe not her first hitting error. <laughs> we'll find out. 
Well, I guess if you're going to find a way to open up round number one of the NCAA tournament, if you're Nebraska, this is the way you open it up. It's been an impressive performance. And sometimes um, these games can be a frustrating or a struggle just yeah. because the two teams are, are very different or you're playing somebody that's a different look than what you've seen in the conference play or whatever. But um, Nebraska's come out and played very clean, very loose tonight and have made any adjustments. I mean, we had a, it was a little bit tight early on in the yeah. first set, yeah. but since then has really kind of got in the groove and used a lot of lineups and, and different people in the mix and people have come in and done what they need to do in each of those situations or in the various lineups. So it was not an error hitting by Krause. She does get the touch, point reverse. Nebraska now up 20 to six and Krause now in double digits in kills, she has 10, no errors, 15 swings, hitting 667. And leading all players with those numbers. So Lexi Rodriguez serving for Nebraska. The Huskers in the middle of an eight to one run. Tried the line, but missed it. There is Otero with the hitting error. Otero's really been trying to work that line or that outside hand, and actually Mendelssohn was inside, so it was a good idea. Yeah. Here we have a sub for Nebraska. Yeah, and here she comes. Hayden Kubik. Let's say it felt like one of those matches where we might see Hayden Kubik late. 6'2 freshman out of West Des Moines, Iowa. This might be the last time <laughs> so she Hayden gets to play. So Hayden coming in, I believe, for Maddie. So. <laughs> and she is coming in for Big Sister. Very cool. Go Passing ahead. the torch, is that kind of a symbolic? Symbolic, yeah. Yep. To Rodriguez to serve. Ace back line by Rodriguez, Nebraska's fifth ace of the match. Make it six. And Roddy might just serve Nebraska to the end. To the win. We talked about Roddy playing so such a great game today. Two 17 digs, two service aces. Just been solid. Bump set to Otero into the block and down. And that will make it set point here, match point for Nebraska here in the third. Match point number one, negative 146. Delaware State is hitting. This would be a new all-time mm -hmm. low for a Nebraska opponent. Tried down the line, not there. Bump set. Here's Krause. Good tip and kill in the middle. Have not called Kelsey Dawson's name a lot, but she gets the kill there. Dawson came in hitting 329 on the year. Match point number two. Free ball over, opportunity here for the Hornets. Off the block, one and up by Rodriguez. In the middle, the tip again. Or is there, bump set, Mendelssohn. Nebraska kept it alive. Maldonado could not get it down. Another free ball opportunity for the Hornets. Otero not down, what an inning this could be here. Krause, not down. Maldonado into the block and out. Maldonado gets the kill.
So match point number three. Other way, Mendelssohn. Net violation called on Alec, and another point for Delaware State. So three straight for the Hornets. I like the fight. 24-9. <laughs> Match point again, the fourth. Ace back line. What a shot there by Madison Martin, the freshman defensive specialist. Match point five. Alec not down. But it didn't get back over. Mm -hmm. And Nebraska wins it in a sweep in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Nebraska in the match hits 341. Delaware State negative 108. So with those last little stretch kept themselves out of the record book here. Uh, again, I just like that they fought, yeah. you know, at the end. And it's a good adding for Nebraska here as well. Congratulations on Delaware State. First time ever in the NCAA.